Hi guys, welcome to another Sony A7 III tutorial. Basically in this tutorial what I'm trying to do as quickly as possible is prove to you that if you use these custom picture profile settings that took me forever to figure out, you're going to get perfect skin from in-camera settings. This means that you don't have to stretch your poor 8-bit Sony to get perfect skin. Leave the stretching in post-production for your aesthetic look and not to get perfect skin. Let's get the camera to get perfect skin. I could explain to you what I've done. I've crushed the blacks, I've crushed the magentas. What that does is that uh, these color depth values, they uh, increase the luminance when the value is negative and they get desaturated. That's what I wanted to do with the reds and that's what I wanted to do with the magentas. Look at the image here now of myself. Uh, it's, it's with perfect sunlight, so the skin is gonna get nailed. I'm gonna show you images that I took at night with practicals, they're not professional lights, so there's going to be a little variance because these are quality lights and their temperatures are changing. But still, it's going to be very an inconvenience. Let me show you how I do that. So here we go. We're in DaVinci uh, Resolve. We could be in Premiere. I can do this in Premiere. I I'm just trying to give you a, a color information. Okay, so let's get rid of all the nodes. This is absolutely in-camera um, image. Okay, here's the image. I can tell straight away that there's a slight hue of magenta here, but it's going to be barely an inconvenience to knock out, okay? So I'm looking at the face right now, and all I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to make a little mask here to isolate a portion of the skin and to show you where it lines up on the uh, skin vector scope. There you go, guys. We're done. Okay, a little bit to the magenta. Let's get rid of the magenta. Two ways of doing that. The easiest by far is to play with the temperature and tint to make the smallest adjustments to, um, to get your perfect skin aligned. Look, I go like this. I add a little temperature. Let me pull that back a little bit and done. There you go. Knocked off that little let's go before, after. Gave it a little bit more warmth knocked off that red hue. The other thing you could easily do is go to your log wheels and in your midtones where your skin resides, just pull that slightly towards the green, slightly, and that's also going to take the edge off that magenta. That's it, we're done. The only thing you need to do uh, if you want to adjust exposure, in this case it's properly exposed because I'm not afraid of uh, ISO, I'm afraid of underexposed images. When you raise those shadows on a Sony, you're gonna get all kinds of ugly stuff happening. Don't over, uh, don't underexpose, okay? The only thing you now need to do to this image is now that I've stretched it, if I had stretched it, which I hadn't, but look, I can add a little bit of contrast and a sneeze of saturation, and that's it. The image is done, guys. You can do a million things now to it, um, but the image is already taken care of, and I didn't have to do anything. That's what I'm trying to show you. So let me take a look at another clip real quick, okay? Let's take a look at this one here also filmed in the sunlight okay so this is in camera again nothing's been done to this image let's make a quick mask of the skin and let's see where the skin resides done i don't have to do anything it's done here you go okay now you can increase the contrast just a little bit of contrast if you want there you go and now you can just start going crazy making masks, qualifying skin, using power trackers, um, magic masks, which are incredible, all for your look, layer notes, you can do whatever you want, but your skin is already good in camera. That's what I'm trying to show you. Now let's take a look at my skin. Uh, wait, I haven't recorded that yet. Give me a sec. Okay guys, now finally let's take a quick look at the clips that I've just been used to record. So here I am, um, we haven't done anything to this clip. It's got a slight hue of magenta, I can tell, but it's going to be barely an inconvenience. So the first thing we can do is let's make a mask so that we see where the skin lies. And then all we're going to have to do, there you go, we just slightly, we can just go to the tint, drop it down, and you're done. You can also take your log wheels and take a little bit of a sting out of the midtones by uh, going towards the green and away from the magenta. Be careful with your log wheels and keep looking at your image when you're doing that. Boom, done.